February 12th starts Chinese Lunar New Year, and it lasts for two weeks. Um, so this year is the year of the ox. Um, I will put up some Chinese symbols. Those are their letters for their words. And you can draw these, you can use those on your lantern picture. But what I want us to do is I'm going to put a step-by-step -step up, but I'm also going to do it for you right now. We're going to draw a line for our lantern picture. This is where our lanterns are going to hang down from. Typically they're round, but I'm going to do them rectangle just because they're a little easier to draw that way. From here, we'll draw our first one in the center. This is going to help us with the element of art, which is space. So we're going to be showing distance. We're going to have a larger one on one side and a smaller one on the other. Um, so in the center, I'm going to kind of come down where my lantern's hanging, make a line, and then a line at the bottom. Oop, my table's a little crooked. And then from here, you'll add zigzag lines coming down to show your lantern folds. These do not have to be symmetrical. They don't have to match. Um, and then you'll do the same thing. You'll make your larger one here. So I'm gonna make a bigger line. Yours may go off. And then I'll do my zigzag. And then I'll make a smaller one showing that it is a little further back in the distance. Now, because we're watching the videos and that kind of thing, this week I just want you to kind of draw your lanterns and prepare them. And then uh, when we meet back on the 22nd for art, because we have President's Day next week, um, I'll have you color these and then we'll upload them. All right, well, happy Valentine's Day and happy Chinese Lunar New Year.